Personal opinions can differ between a person. I can understand that. But let's face it. Tharja is one of the baddest girls in Fire Emblem Awakening, point blank period. So bad that Sakurai had to include her in Super Smash Bros. for 3DS in these form. She was actually a trophy in the game. These were pictures of the massive leak that happened in the summertime which revealed everything in the game and Tharja was in it. She was a trophy at one point. These are official. These were all part of that massive leak. So these are 100% legit. You can't fake these. Look at that render. How Tharja was in the game here. but. After the game was released in Japan, everyone was able to ROM dump it and go through all the hidden files inside of it. it came up to the weird discovery that Tharja was mysteriously removed from the game somehow. For some reason, Tharja's trophy data does not exist in Super Smash Bros. for 3DS anymore. Let's check out this article which talks about this. Was Tharja removed from Smash Bros. to avoid a higher age rating? Now, we all know Tharja is probably the baddest girl in Fire Emblem Awakening. I mean, look at the outfit that she wears. That could very well potentially be the reason as to why she wasn't included in the game in the first place. So the article says, a rumor circulating the internet suggests that Fire Emblem's Awakening, Fire Emblem Awakening's Tharja was removed as an assist trophy in Super Smash Bros. so the company could avoid giving the game a higher ESRB age rating. Brawl, I think, was rated T for teen, but I think Sakurai wanted to go for an E rating for Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U. The reason for her removal was apparently due to her revealing clothing, which supposedly didn't go down too well with the ESRB. Tharja was previously censored by Nintendo of America in Fire Emblem Awakening Summer Scramble DLC. I've heard stories about this DLC, and I heard about the censoring that happens in it, so I find this freaking hilarious because at the end of the day here, this is a character that's loved. Man. And even though she was a bit, you know, on the sexy side, you gotta remember, she wasn't like a promiscuous girl, she was just kind of provocative. And at the end of the day, they removed her. I think it's not fair, you know, because there's a lot of people that are, she has a lot of fans, obviously, and it would have been great to see her included in the game. Even if she wasn't an assist trophy, this article suggests that she was an assist trophy. I don't know how true that may have been, but just the fact that she could have been included in trophy form, but Sakurai removed her? Come on, Sakurai! That is Sakurai! How are you not gonna put a girl as bad as Tharja in there, man? You gonna have Robin without Tharja? <laughs> Come on, dog. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it, I guess, you know, hopefully we can, maybe we can hope that she'll be in the Wii U version, but probably not. He wanted to get an E rating, and he's not going to get an E rating with these cheeks hanging out like that, man. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen, man. But, oh well, you know, at the end of the day here, we still do have these leaked pictures, and we do know that she was in the game in spirit, and that's all that matters. But um, what do you guys think about Tharja being removed from the game? Um, there, I think there were a couple other female characters that are removed from the trophy showcase in the game as well too because they were just too provocative. I think Tharja beat them all by a mile. And um, I d also, by the way, just so some of you guys know, I did not see that whole, what's the, what was the DLC called? The DLC was called Fire Emblem Awakening Summer Scramble. I didn't see that DLC yet. So I'm reading this article like, what the hell does this girl do? <laughs> it's crazy. And what, what, what happened to that DLC that they had to censor it in America? Like what in God's name? Robin must have gone in. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Let me know your opinions on this in the comments below. Was it really necessary to remove her just to get an E rating? I would have been perfectly fine with a T rating, man. It, sh it should have been cool with Sakurai too, but oh well. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. And even though I'm joking around about it, you know, at the end of the day here, I can understand the business mind that Sakurai has in wanting this game to get an E rating. So, you know, I totally understand. I just like joshing with you. Take care of yourselves.